Hello everyone and welcome to a new Let's Play! Oh my god, this is so cute! Look at it! Look at it! It's so cute! Oh my god, this is adorable. Anyways, welcome to a new Let's Play, you guys! Do Dandelion Wishes brought to you? Finally! I am playing this game. Ah oh, yes, ah oh, yes. Applause, everybody, applause. Anyways, <laughs> so yes, most requested, or a lot of you have already pointed out to me that I should be getting on this game. And yes, here I am, and I promised you, I promised and I delivered. So here we are, Dandelion's brought, Dandelion, Dandelion, which is brought to you. So I've already, you guys probably already know the premise of the game, like what's the storyline behind it. But I think this is Cherit's like first like visual novel game that they released on Steam. I don't know if it's their very first as a company, but it's like the first one on Steam. So originally I had planned on like playing it, but then I realized that some of the mechanics I'm not really used to. Kind of like with the whole meters thing, I told I mentioned it before. Um, it puts it makes me a little iffy because like I'm I'm horrible at romancing in general. So to throw in meters and to like watch how many points I need to to make in order to romance a certain characters, I know for sure I'm gonna screw it up at some point. So that's why I went with nameless because it's just a a matter of picking between two choices and that was it. So like little chances of me screwing up, but you know I still do it anyways. Whatever. So yeah. So like da like nameless. Uh, Dandelion's story is basically how this girl, our main character, heroine, finds, uh, finds, I, I forgot what it was, was it like three cats and two bunnies or something like that? I don't know, she finds bunnies and cats, and uh, they were left on her doorstep in a basket, and so she decides to take care of them because she's like, oh, poor animals, because yeah, who else, like, you know, who doesn't want to take care of little animals? So she takes care of them for a day, I think, or a couple of days, I don't even know, but then when she decides to drop them off at a shelter or something like that, they magically turn into humans! And like, yeah, so now she's stuck with these really, like, five- is it five again? Yes, five ridiculously handsome guys that were originally cats and bunnies. So yeah, that's- it's like nameless, uh, except instead of dolls, it's with animals. So yeah, and the funny thing is, is that I got this on sale. Oh my god, sale as if it's only like 15% off and I saved a whole $4 on this game <laughs> from its original 32. But anyways, whatever, sale wasn't going to happen again and I might as well just feel good about myself for, sa for saving for a whole dollar. So yes, let's just start this shit. What are the- enough stalling, let's go. Yes, summer! Ooh, we're going by seasons, I guess? Does this game have seasons? Huh, interesting. Interest- auto-saving game, yeah, I f Ooh, is it- is it auto-saving so I don't have to, like, constantly save at every choice I make? Yeah, I don't think so. Does this game even have choices? Busan! <gasps> we in the city of Busan, and this is getting really choppy. I wonder if I can actually, like, fix that. But anyways, I'll deal with it for now, and then I will try to fix it if it gets a little, uh, unmanageable. Like, right now. Oh my god, please. Okay. When I first came here, everything was so unfamiliar. Ah, uh, Busan. I've lived only in Seoul for 18 years, so I was worried whether I'd be able to adapt. So yeah, Seoul, for those of you who aren't really so familiar with how, you know, Korea works as a country, there are provinces. So Seoul is like the main city hubbub kind of thing. Main city and then capital city, actually. And then Busan is just like a little bit out, to, out to, from away from Seoul. Like countryside almost. Not exactly countryside, but like it's more suburban kind of thing. So yeah. At first, I had a hard time understanding the dialect and I'd often ask people to repeat themselves a number of times. Yes, Busan has their own dialect. It's been three and a half years since I came here, but Busan dialect is still hard to follow. I can imagine. I came to attend a college in Busan from Seoul. Oh really? Why? Sometimes people ask me why I didn't choose to attend a college in Seoul. Yeah, I wonder that too. Unlike me, there are many people in Busan who want to go to Seoul. Yeah, exactly. So like, why did you do the opposite? But unlike them, I no longer want to stay in Seoul. Maybe she's not... Maybe she got tired of the city life, you know? I couldn't stand my life in Seoul with mom who had completely changed after she, she and dad got a divorce. Oh, okay, alright. And family issues, I guess. It's been three and a half years since I became independent from my other, but I from my mother, but I still lead the same su suffocating lifestyle I had in Seoul. Why? When? What is that? A senior majoring in business, an okay TOEIC score, and uh, slightly higher than average school grade. So she's 
she's average. A little a little above average. And to Toek is like something about like a an internet like they they do tests or college tests before you can enter in a college or university. So basically it's like a it's like a SAT kind of thing. But not really. <laughs> I came to Busan to find my dream, but I still have no idea. Nah, it's okay, girl. You're still young. What do I want to do in life? Well, I don't know. Be a veterinarian. <laughs> I came to Busan with that question, but I st but still haven't been able to find an answer. Ooh, but you are beside lovely beaches. Oh yeah, Busan has really nice beaches. I've been living here for three and a half years already. Busan has its big ocean and old buildings. Though people may be a bit rough, they are kind. And I, and I, and I have, p I have five precious animals in my life that warm up my heart. Oh, so she already found them, I guess. I guess, really? Yeah. Oh no, that was the intro. All right. Yeah, I'm sorry about this whole like black border thing going on with the full screen because that's the only way it's gonna work out. I don't even know. It's not like nameless where I could choose dimensions and shit. It just gives me the option of either windowed or full screen, and this is the full screen mode. So yeah. I was actually wondering if we're gonna have another mystery character like we did in Nameless, and it turns out that there is, uh, from the intro of the song that we got. I had to skip out on that just because of copyright reasons and shit like that. Oh my god, there is the meter, the dreaded meter that I so am afraid of. Jesus Christ. Okay, do we get to name our heroine at all? Oh, we go by dates as well too. Shit, at least we have dates. Unlike in like Nameless, we only got dates going by the diary entries and even then some of the seasons don't really make sense. I opened the door and saw a familiar living room. Yes. It's been four years since I moved out from my parents' house. This is a pretty sweet like, you know, apartment to be living by yourself in. I'd die to like freaking live in this place. Uh, yeah. When I come back to an empty home with no one to welcome me, I don't feel like doing anything. Well, that's the life of uh, living by yourself. Yeah, that's, or in your case, get a cat or get a pet. But, you know, in, in our heroine's case, she's gonna find like a basket full of them. I should have had, I should have just, I should just have a light meal, wash up and go to bed. My days are always busy. I wake up early to go to school and go to the art club room after class. Yep, and then when I come home, I clean up the house and do laundry, then I do my school assignments. Yep. Oh, the woes of living by yourself. Becoming an adult. <laughs> and when the hectic week weekdays are over and weekend comes around, I meet up with my friends for lunch and head to the English cram school. Uh, right? Oh wait, no. The word busy has come has become a way of life for me. Yes, I'm sure you're a very busy person. Going to school, doing all these after school activities and shit. But you have a very nice room. I bet she's rich. I bet this girl is like hella loaded from like a rich family, a chairball family. Because there is just absolutely no way she manages to work a part time job and save enough money to buy this kind of apartment, even to rent it. I'm busy today. Yes, I have to go to the cram school. Yes, cram school. I have to impress the professors. Yes, I have to get an A plus in this class. Every yep, life of a student right here. I always make sure that all my school assignments are done perfectly and turn them in by the deadline. And I actively participate in the school's art club. And despite my busy schedule, I make sure to invest some t some of my time to study English in order to raise my TOEIC score. Ah, you're so you're such a hardworking kind of girl. My goodness gracious, you probably have no social life. Some people tell me that I live my life to the fullest. <laughs> That's not exactly what you call living. I w I always thank them, but hearing that doesn't really make me happy. Of course not. That's not that's not living life to the fullest. You're basically it's basically school work more school work school work is is all that there is to your life. Tomorrow should be another busy day. I have a morning full of classes, and I should study at the library during lunch, and then in class again. And I'll probably go to the art club room to work on my paintings. Like, of course, probably the only free time that you have is like painting and stuff like that. But even then, I feel like she's like, "Oh, I gotta go," and like, I feel like this is an obligation. So we don't really even know this heroine's name yet, and yet, you know, like already, I feel sorry for her. <laughs> Anyways, I totally forgot. I was in mid thought. I was. I totally forgot that there was this thing called right clicking, which I wonder what that gives us because in Nameless it gives us the heroine's um, diary entries and such and so on, and also uh, character descriptions. But I feel like 
since this is a rather older game from Cherith, I think we only just got like, you know, the basics. So like the auto, skip, status, status. Oh, we got status at least. Yeah, status. Okay, so, alright, alright. So we have to invest in, <laughs> in our character. Shit. <laughs> so we got femininity, beauty, art skills, and then there's stress, and then there's pressure. And we even have levels for each- oh my goodness gracious, it's like an RPG and a visual novel. Shit! Okay, and also we have our, our, our boys here that we will meet in the future, but I'm not gonna read into any of them now because, well, we haven't even met them in-game yet. So yeah, we'll just leave her here for now, and then... I think that's it. Script is basically if you want to re-read re stuff that has already happened, I think, in the, uh, yeah, in, like, the dialogue boxes and you missed out on that, but anyways. Yeah, we basically get- that's it. So let's, uh, continue then. So yeah. It's nighttime, I guess. So dark room, the same old every day. Yes, so boring. When I lie down on the bed, many thoughts occur to me. Like, I live such a busy life, in others' eyes, my life is probably full of activities that are useful and helpful. Yes, I'm sure they are, but- but why? <laughs> But why do I feel so empty on the inside? Like I have not fulfilled anything, right? Why do I not feel alive? Yes, exactly. Because you're not exactly living, girl. I'm sorry to say, you're not exactly living. There are many people in Korea who lead a, who lead a life similar to mine, but and there are certainly those whose lives are even busier and more stressful. Yes, but unlike me, they're proud of the fact that they're busy and enthusiastically plan out their lives. Well, okay. I well, to each their own. Really? Oh, that's interesting. So I'm pretty sure this is a, uh, See, I told you, we're, we're a total... We're from a family who's totally loaded and rich and probably a chebel. That's probably her mom. Because she has like some next like Chanel looking bag that's in their world. I don't even know. But it's, that's totally a Chanel kind of bag. And that's interesting, what I find is that since Nameless only had the blinking eyes for the character's uh, sprites, we actually get mouth like movement for like whenever they talk. Huh, that's, that's interesting. That's neat. Shut up, mother, okay? You need to worry about your own goddamn life. This is our mind. Can't even have a marriage. You can't even have a proper marriage. <laughs> Excuse me, mom? Like, like I said, mom, you need to worry about your own goddamn life right now. I got my shit worked out at least. Half away. Halfway at least. The painful memories of my past are suffocating me. I can't get rid of the I can't get rid of the cold expression on my mom's face from my thoughts. Man, my mom's a bitch. <laughs> the expression which seems to say only your report card represents your value. Ah, yeah, society. That's what society makes it all out to be. I can still vividly remember mom's face when she told me that I was no use because my grades weren't good enough. Asian parenting. <laughs> but still, I'm living the life as I did when I was with mom. It's not as stressful as it was in Seoul. Yeah, that's true. At least she's not there to nag you. But even when I'm... Still leading a busy life, I have no idea why I'm here and why I'm doing these things. I went to attend to a college outside of Seoul and joined an art club. I have friends, quote quote, who aren't really friends, but and I struggled to get an A plus in all my classes. Girl, you're just so hard on yourself. My goodness, you're like you're on your own now. You you know less pressure kind of thing. But whatever. None of these are what I wanted. In fact, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. That is the thought of every single like. <laughs> teen right now, going through a midlife, like, 20s crisis. I have no idea what I'm working so hard for. How can I find my calling? I have no idea. It's hard. It's hard to find something passionate. How can I learn to enjoy what I do? I don't know. No one taught me those things. I don't think anyone has been taught those things. Only the few rare. The few rare and the lucky. Well, at least our room looks pretty on point. Oh yes! Okay. It's the wizard's music! Hey! This is from Nameless Dude! Are you the wizard? Mr. Wizard! Are you here? Why are we always getting picked on by supernatural forces? Like, I don't understand. Like, of all people that we get- that you have to choose, it's us. I'm not sure if you're a good person. 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 I'm not sure if you're
You're pretty fucked up. <laughs> this poor girl is, is stressing out over her life and trying to find what she, what she wants to do in life, and all you want to do is just be like, you know what? I think you should suffer a little more. I don't... I don't want to. I wonder if this is the wizard or if this is the mysterious character that's like was in the, the opening sequence. Okay, mysterious voice, whatever you say. Yes, because my life to you is just a game. Fucking game, you piece of shit. All right. It's morning. What a straight. Oh, so okay. So we didn't exactly find animals in the basket in front of our house, but we more or less they just get plopped into our room one night, and we wake up to find them. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, at least I'm still right about finding the animals. Guangyongi. Hello. When I, what woke me up was not the alarm that's set for 7 a.m., but a meow at 6 a.m. I don't even know. But the sound of a cat? No way, I don't even have a cat. I must have been really tired yesterday. Nope, it's a cat. It's probably two cats. Or three. I remember going to bed last night without taking a shower and felt a bit grossed out. Oh, yeah, it's kind of gross. And my hair felt oily, too. Oh, that's gross. You need to go shower right now. I should get up and take a shower. Yes, do that. I looked at the wall to see the time. It's 6.36! I was right! Hey! I was so totally right! Like, I was woken up by a cat's meow at 6 a.m. instead of the alarm clock at 7 a.m. Oh, there's cat number two! Since the dialogue is like, the color of it is different, so I'm assuming it's a different character. Huh? What was that? It's a fucking cat. Oh. There we go! Our little precious baby animals! Hey there! Hi, little- Oh, don't you look precious! Ugh. I still blurry. I close my eyes. I still blurry. And I opened them again. <gasps> so it's two cats and three bunnies. Alright, I was I was close, whatever. Ah, uh, aren't you a little adorable? Mm, little babies. Hi. Oh, I would have freaked out I'd have been like I would not be able to control myself. I'd probably just like they like, cuddle and like squeeze them and just be like, Oh my god, the cutest thing. Ah. Okay, okay, I know, oh my god, I know, you're probably really hungry or some shit, alright, alright. This isn't a dream. Yes, it's not. I hope it's not. God damn, who wouldn't want, like, a basket full of animals? Little baby animals, I don't even know. There was a big basket next to my bed, and inside that basket... Oh, she talks! <gasps> oh my god, she talks! <laughs> okay, let's just leave. I think, I'm pretty sure that's, like, an option, but, like, yeah, let's just, um... Let's, yeah, let's just stick with it so then I don't have to read all that much because <laughs> my voice strains a lot when I read. So, yeah. What? Who? How? The animals? I'll just be the heroine's voice of thoughts instead of her actual voice. <laughs> the animals, yeah. Who brought them into my room? I don't, I don't know. I don't really care. <gasps> what? Wait! Oh, she's not talking anymore. Why is that? Come on, you were talking just a few minutes ago. Wait, before that, who broke into the house? Ugh, oh, panic. Well, I'm pretty sure whoever broke into your house didn't have any ill intention if they just planned on leaving a basket full of animals right next to your bed. So you know what? You know, I don't really mind. I don't care at that point. I'll be like, it's okay. <laughs> Someone must have come into the house when I was when I was sleeping. The windows are locked. How could someone have come in? Magic. I scanned the room quickly but saw no sign of intrusion. I must call the police! Ah, ah, but first, the animals. I would even care. I'd be like, yo, thanks, stranger, whoever the fuck left them here. <sighs> There's five of them, if you could count. God damn. Two cats and three, and three rabbits, yes. A total of five. Good job. What am I supposed to do with five animals? Uh, take care of them? I would. <sighs> okay, yeah. I should call the police first. No, you shouldn't. You should call... The first thing you should probably do is probably call the animal shelter. In logics, you know, in logical reasoning. Because these are just animals. There's like... 
there's no criminal acts that has been, you know, committed here, so I don't see the problem. These animals don't belong to me. I know, but like still, they're 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 cute. 거기 경찰서 줘. 저희 집에 누가 무단 침입을 해서 애완동물을 유기했는데요. Girl, you should be at least thankful that's the only thing they did. Okay, come on. 네, 현장 보존이요? What? What things at this? What? 예? 어. Oh. 훔친 건 없는 것 같은데요. Oh, so that's what they're asking. I was like, things that disappeared. I was like, what? No, yeah, nothing was stolen. 방도 그대로고. I would have been like, man, then what's your problem? <laughs> you got a basket full of animals for free. Like, I don't see anything else. The tone of the police officer over the phone suddenly changed. Yeah, so... Yeah, well, I don't... Yeah, girl, I wouldn't even call the police in her situation. I've been like, oh, sweet, animals! I don't yeah, girl. Girl, I don't know why you're so worried about all of this. Jeez. I was telling the truth, but the officer wouldn't believe me. Even if they, even if he did believe you, he'd been like, "Girl, just take them to the shelter or some shit." If you're so worried about it. Yeah, whatever. 그 장난 아니면 이웃 사람들한테 물어보던가 아세요? I desperately tried to stop the officer from hanging up. Well, why don't you take that? Like I said, if you're so worried about it, like if you don't want to take care of them, then take them to the shelter. I turned to look at the animals, all five of them were staring at me. Why, why are they all looking at me like that? Because they can understand what you're saying. Okay. Come to think of it, it's a bit strange that rabbits and cats are sitting together so peacefully because they all know each other. Are cats this well behaved? Um, yeah, they can be. Yeah, cats and bunnies can be like friends, you know, if they like live together for a long time. Tomorrow? Oh, but they're gonna turn into people before that, so yeah. The police officer told me that the people from the animal shelter can't come until tomorrow. Oh, well, that's too bad for you. But that means I have to take care of them today. <gasps> oh, the woes of taking care of pretty little, like, animals. Cute animals. He wouldn't believe the fact that someone had broken in. It seems that no one would come for an investigation. Well, I wouldn't either. Honestly. <laughs> Asking the police to believe me is not something I can do easily. And I don't have the courage to plead him either. Yep. Just... <sighs> Deal with it, Hanny number two. God damn, I need to name her. We don't know who, who the heroine is. Maybe we'll get the name soon, but like, right as of now, she's like, <laughs> Someone surely came into the house. What on earth is going on? I went over to where the basket was. And it's empty. Oh, no, choose an animal. Oh, is this where we get to romance? Like, our, our pick or whoever to we, we should romance? Oh my god, I should probably look up a guy to see, like, if there's a certain order I should go in. Okay. Give me one second, you guys. I totally forgot that that was a thing as well, where it's like there's a recommended sort of list to go by. Because I don't want nothing spoiled on me, and I don't want things to be a little confusing for like the both of us. Where I'm just like, what the fuck? I does it doesn't make sense kind of thing. Okay, so let's see. Dandelion. Is this a spoiler free one? That'd be really nice, cause then I can I can get the same thing with like no I uh, had with nameless. All right, yay yay! I think this is like the same person who did the guide for nameless as well, which is like spoiler free. So yes, who should I who should I romance first? Get Demi. Okay, I'll just go with like. Fuck! I don't even know who who's the two. <laughs> which one of you is Jisoo? Ah shit, I should have been paying attention to like the main, like the, the, the opening credit because they had the names of the characters, so anyways, let's see. Does it really matter who I choose to romance first? Ah, whatever. Let's just go with like the rows of the cats that, or they, they had it settled here where it's like, we'll do the two cats first because, oh wait, I can't even choose one of this cat. Okay, fine. We'll go this way. Okay, that's like that's like one option done. Okay, let's go this way. Let's do 
Or... Let's do the bunnies first, actually. Because we have the three bunnies here. We can't even choose one of the cats. So, like, let's just group them together. So, since we can't do one of the cats, uh, we'll just leave them f the cats for last, then. Okay, let's just go this way, okay? You! Brown spotted rabbits. He seems a little different from the rest of the animals. Okay. He is trying to keep a distance from the rest of the animals in the small basket. Aww. He doesn't look like a he doesn't look like a Korean breed. Oh. Oh wait. Oh, it's just information character. All right. Cool. 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 Why can't we choose this guy? That's weird. The small white baby rabbit was sitting right next to the bigger one, as if he's scared. Oh. Is that a mom and her baby? But their colors are different. The smaller rabbit was as white as snow. Okay. Uh, the big rabbit was calmly staring at me. The color of his fur, it's silver. Uh, wait. Silver rabbit? Is this some sort of an extinct species? I have no idea, girl. But they hella cute. Ah, yeah, hella cute. The, the kitten with bright orange fur was looking at me with sparkling eyes. Oh, look at you! You're so cute! <laughs> look how sparkly his eyes are. He's so cute. He's a real cute cutie pie. Yeah, he is. Oh, there we go. Now we can actually choose the last guy here. This guy who has like a little special like necklace looking thing here too. The black hat looks ill-tempered, the rest of them are cute. Hey, all kitties are cute. What are you talking about? Shut up. And it kept staring at me as if it was it kept staring at me as if it has something to say. Don't Oh! He just said something. I'm hungry. <laughs> It talks. Oh my god, girl. Yes, talking cats. I look. I like kind of freak out with that too. But like afterwards, I'd be like, "Damn, you talk." But well, what was that? The cat just talked. Yeah. Am I hearing things? No. No, I'm sure I heard it. <laughs> he's just like he probably let that one slip because he was really hungry. And then he's like, "Oh shit, uh, meow." Uh, I'm pretty sure I heard something. Or oh, he's just fucking with us. I glared at the black cat. <laughs> he's just like. What? I didn't talk. Sassing me already? The black cat stared back. Maybe. Nah, you, you, you heard something. I sighed. I must be really tired if that is the case. I should at least feed the animals. They will be with me until tomorrow. Yes. I was surprised, but the animals are probably even more surprised. They must have... They must have felt really nervous to wake up in the morning and find that they are abandoned by their owner in an unfamiliar place. Well, it's not exactly how that works, but okay. As I headed to the living room, the black cat jumped over the basket and followed me behind. Ah, cute! The orange kitten, silver rabbit, white rabbit, and spotted rabbit followed as well. Yeah, I'm gonna feed you fruits and vegetables to the rabbits, and then I don't know what to do for the cats. I put in some bread and lettuce in a large salad bowl and put it down on the floor. Alright, bread and lettuce. Alright. I also put some cereal in a small bowl for myself and poured milk into it. When was when was the last time I had a decent meal? A while, I guess. I always, I'm always spacing out while eating my cereals for breakfast, but the animals perked me up this morning. Hey, so maybe this isn't such a bad idea to keep them, right? Right? Well, you're gonna have to keep them anyways because they're gonna turn into people. Yeah. What? What do you want? <laughs> Huh? <gasps> what? I looked up and spotted the black hat inside the salad bowl along with the food. Hey! That's for eating, not just lying. Hello? Did he just fall in the salad bowl while eating? <laughs> you clumsy little shit. Yeah. What you, uh, now you're off. Well, you can't really get dirty off of bread and lettuce. Okay. He looks so silly. <laughs> Aww. See? He's a cute, cute, uh, cute cat. I laughed at how silly he looks. He's so silly. You silly cat. Ah. When was the last time that I laughed like this? When dad was around, of course. <laughs> yes. Aww. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course you're not gonna accept that, mom. Cause you're a bitch like that. You're like, no, you're gonna have to work to become a CEO of some next company, and that's the only reason. It's the only way I'll acknowledge you as a daughter. Ah, <laughs> ah, uh, uh, <laughs> instantly depressed. <laughs> yeah, I feel ya. By the way, what's the time? I don't know, girl. 7:40? Oh no, you're late for classes. Oh no. Yep. Okay, but what about the animals, though? Hello? 
Oh yeah, well, I guess it's okay to leave them at home. As long as, you know, they don't poop everywhere. Well, they're people anyway, so I'm sure they'll find their way around. Whatever. The hectic morning classes are all over. Great. I didn't want to have to sit through it anyways. I can't even remember what I learned in class today. Yep, that's how I feel all the time. I always take perfect notes and never miss anything that the professor said. That's the professor say. But I was worried about the animals at home, and also I was bothered, bothered by my... By my messy hair and makeup, which I hurriedly put on before coming to school. Yep. It's okay, girl. You still look the same to me. Oh, is this the art class? Yeah. I went to the restroom to straighten myself up and then headed to the art club room. Annyeong. Annyeong. Ah, oh. What's this, Zumbe? Oh, he Jing. Oh, my name is Hee-jung. Hee-jung. Yeah, okay. As I opened the door and greeted everyone, a guy sitting in front of a canvas smiled at me. Hey there. She's just like, ah. 선배, 뭔일 있어요? 땅에 꺼져라 한숨을 다 쉬고. It's just a lot of crazy shit happened today. He J asked me with a concerned look on his face. Well, his name is He J Kim. He's a junior, and we're in the same club, and we even go to the same cram school together. All right. He J, 혹시 애완동물 키울 생각 없어? Girl, I don't understand why you don't want to take care of these animals. Like I'm, sh like I know maybe because you're like, oh, I'm too busy to do that. But like still. Yeah? 갑자기 그게 무슨? Well, because I got two cats and a three bunnies. I have to get rid of the animals so I can go back to normal life. Why? What's wrong with? 혹시 키울 생각이 있으면 나한테 말해줘. 토끼가 좋아, 고양이가 좋아. What's wrong with owning pets? Come on, they're a stress reliever, you know? Owning pets make you happy. 선배, 저 동물을 싫어하는 건 아닌데요. 털 알레르기라는 게 있어가 키우기엔 좀... Oh, that's too bad, Hee Jung. I guess you're stuck with them. Hee Jae shook his head. Why must he have every single allergy that exists? <laughs> anyway, who on earth has left those... Anyway, who on earth uh, left those animals in my room? I'm already busy preparing for my graduation. Because Because I picked up a bunch of strays. Well, a bunch of strays has been dropped off in my house. Yep. Yeah? Yes. Well, you don't have to say it in that way. You could have been like, they were left on my doorstep, or I don't know. <laughs> TJ sprung to his feet. Yes, I'm fine, as you can see. Okay. No. No, TJ. I wouldn't be here if someone did some shit to me, okay? God. Uh huh. Yes, we're fine. We're totally okay. Yeah. True. 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 Plot twist, it's, it's true. You're right. <laughs> You're not wrong about that. Oh, don't be so over dramatic. Come on, they're just a bunch of animals. Jesus. No, I already told you rabbits or cats. Jeez. Yep. I know, so bizarre, gosh. Yeah, then why not keep them, Hee-jung, huh? If they're so small and cute and adorable, then why not keep them? Is there a color? Oh, maybe it's actually silver hair. Come on. 글쎄, 
그런 건 아닌 것 같아. 아무튼 정말 특이해. 음, 그리고 고양이 한 마리는 밝은 오렌지색인데 눈도 크고 애교가 많아 보였어. 검은 고양이도 하나 있는데 걔는 별로 안 귀엽더라고. What are you talking about? He's adorable. He may look a little birdy and like, you know, looks like he just doesn't want you to touch him, but like still, cats, all cats are so adorable. 그래요. 와, 근데 애완동물 다섯 마리를 한꺼번에 버린다는 게 그것도 토끼랑 고양이를 갖다 같이 거참. Well, it's not like they're eating each other right now, so whatever. I'm sure they get along. 네 마리. 고양이 같이 키우는 사람 별로 없잖아. But they are, they are there, you know. There aren't that many, but there's still a possibility. 그 애완동물 동물 보호소로 보내려고요. Yeah, that's what's the original plan. But of course, we know what's gonna happen. 그래야지. 내가 키울 수는 없으니까. 다른 좋은 사람이 입양에 가겠지 뭐. Well, life doesn't work out sometimes, Lee Jung, and you're gonna learn it the hard way. 고양이랑 토끼를 누가 입양한답니까? 강아지면 몰라도. 보통 사람들은 강아지 좋아하잖아요. Well, what about people who live in like small apartments and they still want to own pets? Then they get cats and rabbits, alright? Jeez. 생각해보니 what? 그러네. Cats are usually considered as bad luck in Korea and therefore are not popular as pets and it's also not common for rabbits to be adopted from shelters. That is true, like, regardless, rabbits are hard to adopt from shelters anywhere you are in the world, but like, I didn't know cats were considered bad luck in Korea. That's new. Huh. Well, you're right, Hee because that is a sad truth. So adopt your animals, people. If you want to get a pet, like, adopt. Euthanize? Yes, girl, see? You're gonna commit a horrible crime if you abandon these babies. So don't do it. But those little animals have done nothing wrong. Ah, that is the saddest thing in the world, though. That is true and it's sad. That is the reality that you must face. I don't particularly like animals, but I never understood this. Well, psh, the world is a cruel place. Well, we're assholes. We're a bunch of assholes, that's why. I could feel myself getting sad. Yes, feel sad, Hee Jung. Feel sad, and therefore you have more obligations to take care of these babies. Of course not. <laughs> there is no justice in this world. That's just an excuse. It's an excuse she's trying to like lie to herself. Hijay's right, being as busy as I already am, I don't have time to take care of animals, but you won't be needing to take care of them all that much, just you need to feed them, and they can take care of themselves. I graduate next semester, and I have to be ready to find employment. Well, sometimes, you know, life doesn't work out the way you plan it to be. Yes, of course. That really, who left those animals in my room? I don't know. The wizard. The strange thing is that there's no sign of any intrusion in my room because it's the wizard. Or the mysterious voice, I don't even know. One thing's for sure is that someone did indeed break into the in did indeed break in to leave those animals in my room. But everything in the room was left unchanged, and since I have left and since I live on the fifth floor, it's impossible for someone to come through the window. Okay. Yeah. Even the door is locked properly. This is really weird, I know. Magic. That's what magic is all about. I said goodbye to TJ and nervously went home because I could not concentrate on painting while thinking about the animals. Yeah. Yeah, da <laughs> it relaxed me to see the five animals wandering around the living room. Oh, cute. What a relief, everyone seems fine. I have to decide what to do with them or I'm not going to get anything done. Well... Uh, this is giving me a headache. You can just feed them and then just, I don't know, give them a ball of, of string, whatever. I don't even know. Ugh. 
유기동물 중에 반 넘게 안락사 당한다 카던데. Yes, thank you, HJ's flashback for reminding me of the cruelty of the world. Yes, thank you very much. Guilt tripping me, but it's okay. <laughs> you should guilt trip Hijung because she needs to take care of these guys. Euthanasia. Animals that are abandoned by their owners. I don't even know what might go through I don't even know what might go through their minds at such a moment. Animals can't talk. Well <laughs> Yeah, yes. We Marulane? Shiom Sangjok Yok and Yogamya Pyom Myung Yada Hey Kodanya. Oh my god, mother, please. I don't need your flashback to tell me that either. You try to talk, but the other person won't listen, and the feelings of having your future decided by that person. Thanks, Mom. Wow. I know that more than anyone else. Yes. I think it's time you take in you take control of your own life, Hee Jung. Come on. Be rebellious. Take care of these animals. <laughs> I made up my mind and picked up the phone. Oh no! Yabuseo? Never mind, I'm just gonna keep them. Keep them, keep them, keep them. My mom never once gave me the choice to choose what I want to what I want to do. Yes, Hee Jung, take control of your own life. Rebel and own these animals. Take care of them. She wouldn't even listen to me. Yes! You go girl! You go girl! Yeah, that's right. I'm not my mom. Yes, that's right. You go, Hee Jung. Grow yourself a spine. Today is June 2nd. June 2nd? Really? Alright. Um, okay. June 2nd. Alright. Sonbe! I decided to keep them because I'm such a good person, right? I decided to keep them, yep. No! How could you even think of me like that, TJ? God! Exactly. I'm keeping them. They're my babies now. They will become my children. <laughs> yeah? Oh, come on, they're just. They're, they're two cats and they're like three bunnies, and they turn into people later on, so it's like. It's not gonna be that much work. Mm. Yeah. Only for a while. That's what they all say. I'm sure it can't be that hard, especially when they're bunnies. Well, cats cats are a little trickier, but like bunnies, you just gotta give them a big, huge cage. And then, like, some. I don't know. <laughs> What what are those called? Those uh those wood shades things that they put in the cage. I don't even know. I don't even know. But oh, and like I like we said, they turn into people anyways. I was thinking about borrowing books about rabbits and cats from the school library. Yes, do your research, girl. Although it's only temporary, I should at least know the basics for like what to feed them and if there's anything special to watch out for. Yes. Good job. Good on you. I'm fine. God, who do you think I am? Everything will be fine, Hee Jung. God damn it. I've never raised animals before, and now I suddenly have five of them. <laughs> yes. Yeah? Sorry, Hee Jae. I know you really like me and all in my company, but I've got... I've got children to take care of now. <laughs> exactly, okay, if she's been... If she's been helping for the last two years and a half, then like, damn girl, you deserve a break. Well then, that's why you gotta get your shit together without me, okay? Like, I can't always be there to help you. <laughs> Exactly. I'm sure you'll manage. And like I said, I will drop by sometime as well. Come on, HJ. HJ, grow some balls and like manage this by yourself and like the other freshmen. You're, I'm sure you're not that helpless of a man, okay? 
The reason I started to draw is because one day I would have to fill out the hobby section of my resume. But, <laughs> girl, you don't even enjoy drawing. All right, all right. But it was more fun than I expected, so I kept going. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good then. 아무튼 난 이제부터 다섯씩 할 테군요. 먹여 살려야 하는 시기가. Exactly. 다섯 마리나 됐어. I have kids to take care of now. I am a mother. I am a mother of five. Single mother of five now. 선배 아르바이트 하게. Probably. Yeah, I gotta support the kids. <laughs> 아직 모르겠어. I gotta support the kids. Gotta give them a good, good life to live, and you know, fund their education and shit. <laughs> 우와, 그렇게까지. 그래도 영화고는 끊으면 안 됩니다. 저랑 같이 계속 다닐 거죠. Well, I'll try, EJ. Gosh. 그것도 봐. Yeah. 안 돼요. 영화고는 다녀야죠. 우리 목표 점수 아직 달성 못 했잖아요. Okay, EJ, but. Honestly, consider my position now. I'm a mother, of five, single mother of five now, so shut up. Unless you want to fucking help me out, then like by all means. Toic. Yeah. I'm sick of it, I know. Fuck Toic. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of English. <laughs> I know that, but like still. But I have to do it, yeah. Huh. If not, I'll lose the competition. I'll never be able to get into a large company. Do I really want to work at a large firm? It's not always what it's cooked up to be, you know, Hee Jung. Just saying. I have no idea. <laughs> what do I what I want to do in the future? Well, yeah. Why don't you think about the now instead of the future, right? I think I did have a dream job when I was young, but I can still but can I still dream like that at this age? Why not? You're still young. <laughs> One thing is certain, I'm not happy right now. Yeah, the most important thing right now is to become happy with yourself, Hee Jung. But I can't just quit everything that I'm doing. Because then I think I won't even remember what the purpose of living is. Ah. Weekend activity! Stay home, go to work, go out. Oh my god, I gotta do this. No special- uh, No, oh god. Special activities are available on the weekends. Oh, oh god. I think we should go to work. Go to the gallery and work full time. Stay home, you can do one activity. You cannot go out for the first two weeks. Oh, <laughs> all right. Oh, we got relationship points. Yep. Oh my god. He takes nine points. Jesus. Ugh. All right, let's just let's just go to work. Let's just work. Work, 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 work. Simi work, work, work. He just worked at the gallery. Yay. Stress slightly increased, but received forty dollars. I'm hella rich. Ballin in commercial catalog acquired. Yay. Get some money. The day is over. I should take a rest and I and have a fresh new start tomorrow. All right. Morning. Today is June third. All right. It's a Sunday. Oh, all right. So let's see. My stress isn't that, like. You know, hi. Okay, you know what? Let's not work on a Sunday. We worked yesterday. Let's take a break. Let's just take a break. We'll stay home. Alright, so what now? Go to the living room where, like, freaking... Oh, okay, so I guess this is how we get, like, our interactions with the, um... With the, uh, with the, the, each of the animals, I guess. So, okay. I did say I wanted to do the bunnies first and then the cats, because there's only two of them, but... I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Like, the guy, this non-spoiler guy that I pulled it up said that, you know, there's no particular order. Or the first person that came up in the list was Jisoo, and I don't even know which one's Jisoo. Which one is you, Jisoo? You're Jisoo! The cranky cat. <laughs> okay, let's just, let's, let's go like that. Alright, let's go. Let's go to the living room. Interact with Jisoo and them. Hey! Sit. Oh, okay. Whoa, okay, so I can just sit in- Oh, I can watch TV. I can sit. Just watch TV. Ah, watch an educational program. Oh my, no, I don't want to do that. What should I do? Take a rest. It's a lazy Sunday. Okay, you know what? Let's just watch TV. Fine. I reached my hand for the remote and turned on the educational channel. You will be able to steadily increase your scores only when you keep taking the exam. Is that proven? Is that proven? Art skills slightly increased, stress moderately increased, pressure greatly decreased. All right, cool. I didn't got no pressure anyways. Day is over, I should take a rest and have a fresh new start tomorrow. I didn't really interact with any of the animals, even though they were in the, the area. Today is June 4th, it's a Monday. 
Oh, he jung went to school. Study, study, study. Stress slightly increased, pressure slightly increased. Alright. Is this what it's gonna be all about, this game? Really? Jesus. Alright. Oh god. Phew. Alright. I put my bag down on my room floor and collapsed on my bed. I hear a sound of someone entering my room. Oh, it's the silver and white butt. It's the silver and white rabbits. Ah, oh, hello. Were they curious about what I'm doing? It is now one in the afternoon. Alright. I would usually be in the club room at this time. But now I'm at home doing nothing. Okay, but like still. I never once missed a class or skipped going to the club. But strangely enough, despite being here at home and doing absolutely nothing, all my anxiety has gone. I know. I know. It's good to change things up, you know? Like, it's good to like do nothing after doing so much like for the longest time, you know? I don't feel anxious. Yeah. It's been three and a half years since I left home away from mom. Yeah, bitch mommy. I think I've become a little strange. But how cute. I stroked the silver rabbit. His fur is so soft. His fur is so beautiful and soft. Hey, cuddles. I'm starting to feel very relaxed. Oh, it's Jisoo, the black cat. The two cats also came into my room. The spotted rabbit sat at the, at the door watching me. All right. Guess you're a little bit antisocial, rabbit. All right. These animals are quite unusual. Yes, quite. I've been told animals are usually troublemakers, and I was starting to prepare myself for it, but so far, nothing at all. Yeah, exactly! Piece of cake! They don't chew on anything or turn the house into a mess. And although it hasn't been long since they've been with me, they follow me everywhere. Because they're cute. They're so cute like that. It feels like they're always observing me, what I'm doing, and when I'm coming home. Yeah. Or maybe you can just do nothing at all, and just pet these bunnies and kitties. <laughs> Thinking about these things gave me a headache again. Aww, hi baby! Meow? Yeah, let's do that. I don't really feel like doing anything right now, exactly. Yeah, I picked up the cat and laid him on the bed. I lied down as well. You still need to name them, even though they do already have names. I just wonder what kind of names they would give. Uh, she would give them. The cat climbed up to my belly and settled down. Cats are more affectionate than I thought. Of course they are. I could feel the kitten's heart beating through my stomach. Ah, uh, spending time with these animals while clearing my mind is proving to be very enjoyable. Exactly, so this is a totally good idea. See, don't you feel, don't you feel relieved that you didn't send them off to the shelter now? I soon fell asleep on the bed. Sleep, sleep. Hee Jung is what? Okay, so... My stress is a little bit almost halfway there. Uh, how do we interact with the animals though? That's what I'm wondering. What's this? Go to the room, go out. We can't go out in the first week, right? Okay, so our little baby bunny is in the balcony. Like I said, let's try romancing Jisoo. Where the fuck are you, Jisoo? Oh, that's going back. Alright. Let's take a nap. Let's sleep again, because... <laughs> oh wait, no, hold on. You know what, let's just, let's just, okay, I don't think romancing any, I don't think romancing has any, any, any sort of effect now. So let's just go around, let's just, let's just, you know, go on the computer, yeah. Sketch, or sleep, is it sleeping? What's this? Can't do that, alright. What's this? Okay, let's, let's, uh, let's study for a bit. I decided to study through my business textbook. I was looking for my business book, only to find that the spotted rabbit was sitting on top of it all this time. Hey now, I thought the cat was in here. Were you reading that? You're cute. Greatly increased. <laughs> How do I decrease my pressure? Or does it like does it not restart every single day? The day is over, I should take a rest and have a fresh new start tomorrow. Alright. Okay, it's Tuesday, today's June 5th. Alright. He just spent the day drawing at the art club room. Alright. Cool. Art skills slightly increased, stress slightly increased, pressure slightly increased. Alright. I didn't know- Oh! <gasps> How do I de-stress myself? Let's just like, okay, let's just take a bath. Let's just-, just I'm sure taking a bath would like de-stress me, de -stress me, right? Take a shower, yeah, take a bubble bath. You encountered the orange cat! Hey! Hey now, hey there, hey! Oh, there you are! Stare a smile! Oh, this is how we encounter them, so we have to choose 
like, accordingly to, like, whichever, I guess we just get lucky in the area, and then whichever ones we choose to interact, so say the mirror or the taking a bath, we can encounter some of the animals that are there in the area. Okay, stay or smile? Smile. Smile, the kitty is so cute! Oh, the way he smiles back is just too adorable for words. <laughs> but don't watch me while I'm taking a bath, it's kind of strange. I was taking a bubble bath when I spotted the orange rabbit. Oh, hey. The orange, the orange rabbit? You mean the orange cat? All right. The orange cat sat on the edge of the bath of the bathtub and looked at me. Hey now, I'm in the middle of taking a bath. Wait for me a while, okay? Yeah. Jeez. Heart gauge slightly increased. Oh, there we go. Feminine increased. Beauty increased. Pressure slightly increased. Stress. Yeah. Okay. Stress decreased. Pressure slightly increased. Why? Why is the pressure? Why is my pressure going up? The day is over and I just get rest and have a fresh new start tomorrow morning. Okay. Start tomorrow. All right. It's June six. All right. He just went to school. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, but with this game, I think also what kind of also um, me as a person, I'm really impatient when it comes to these sort of things. Like I like it when the story progresses, not when I have to continuously do these different activities and then like after once in a while, like the story will progress. Cause all you get is just like, you know, oh yeah, I gotta start, I actually go to sleep, start brand new tomorrow, and then you know, come back here. Oh, went to school. Oh, went to the art club. Yeah, blah blah blah. It's all the same thing, every morning kind of thing. Let me. Okay, you know what? Let's just try encountering the black cat, Jisoo. Jisoo. Yay! You encountered the black cat. All right, cool, cool. <laughs> Why do you sit like a person? Oh, because you are a person. Right. All right. Take a bath. Stare bath. Just stare at you. Why do? Why would I want to bath it? Are you dirty? Yeah, let's bath you. You did. You were rolling around in salad and breadcrumbs, and let's bath you. It's time for some relaxation, aka bath. Yes, let's de-stress ourselves. Beauty moderately increased, stress slightly like, greatly de decreased, um, pressure moderately increased. Why is my pressure going up though? I don't understand how it's supposed to be refreshing and like you know, relaxing. Oh, today is June seventh, Thursday. Okay, so let's finish this week. Oh. He just spent the day dressing up. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Why is my pressure going up with that? I don't get it. <laughs> pressure to look good is my society. Okay, I need to de depressurize myself. <coughs> <coughs> okay, so <coughs> I choked on my own spit. I'm so sorry. So I think, yeah, I want to increase Juicy's relationship points. We increase. He has nine points to like fill up. He has seven. So let's just go where Juicy is. Jisoo, where are you? Are you on the bed? Okay, we need to depressurize ourselves. Let's just go to bed. <laughs> let's just let's take a sleep or some shit. Sketch. Or sketch? Okay, let's just go to bed. I think he'd be on the bed. Oh, no. Oh, we'll advance you to the next day? Are you- Oh, okay, no. Alright, alright, no. No, don't do that. Let's just sketch. I have some spare time, I should just- should I draw something? Yeah, go ahead. I drew a character from a comic, bo a comic book I read as a child. Heart gauge greatly increased, art skill greatly increased. Ah, oh, why? I'm like, my pressure is still increasing. Why? How do I de decrease my pressure? Okay. Oh, is it- is story progression? Do I get some story progression? Today's a Friday. Work harder, keep busy. I need to put more effort than others. Otherwise, I'm just one of them. You're having a nightmare again. A plus, I need to get A plus on everything. Girl, you're you're setting such a high standard for yourself. Oh, shut up. Yes, I have to register to an English cram school. I have to work on my English and I have to make sure I get a good grade on my TOEIC, on my TOEIC test. And I'll join at a club. It'll look good on my resume later. The professors will think of me as a well-rounded student. Why are you so busy? I know, right? I have to meet my friends during weekends. Maintaining friendship is also important. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, everyone expects so much from me. I have to work out, I have to be slim, I need to give people a good impression. Oh my god, girl. I can't lose to other people. Girl, you just need to say fuck you to everyone else and just do you. Gosh, I have to work hard on everything and everything. I need to lead a busier life. I need to be in the first place. Shut up, mom. I don't need this shit from you. Ah, mom. Oh my god. 
Why? That's what I want to ask. Why do you invest so much into me? To what avail? I really don't know anymore. 남들 다 가는 대학 들어갔잖아. 그러면 최소한 그 안에서는 눈에 띄어야지. 취직은 어떻게 할래? Uh, an average college, but I worked really hard to get in. Yeah. Why can't you be happy for me, mom? God, I'm not pushing myself hard enough. I can still do more. I have to be busier. Higher test score, higher test scores, more school activities, strong self-discipline, and then a flawless resume. Otherwise, I'll be homeless. Nah, girl, that's not how it works, girl. Otherwise, I... Ugh, nightmare. Ugh. I feel the pressure of society just crumbling down on me, or just, like, pushing down on me. I was soaked in sweat. I woke up to a killer headache and felt extremely thirsty. I touched my face and felt something wet. I was crying unconsciously. I have this recurring dream. I, it started ever since my parents divorced. It always comes back to haunt me just when I'm about to overcome it. And I feel extremely lonely whenever I wake up from it. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. No one noticed when I was crying alone in the dark. And no one paid attention to when I was sick. No one. That's why you have these children now. It's alright. Oh! Babies! Children! I heard footsteps. I ha I must have woken up the animals. Yeah. I looked up to the door and saw... It's the black cat. Hey! Did he, o did he come over because he was worried? Oh, that's really nice of him. A pair of gleaming eyes were watching me in the dark. Thank, thank God. Thank God I'm not alone. Yes, thank you. And you said you didn't call him cute. You didn't think he was cute enough, but look at him. He's so warm. So this is how it feels to be with someone after a nightmare. It makes me feel relieved and gives me comfort. This recurring nightmare would always put me in great distress. Even though I don't live with my mom anymore, even though she no longer sends me to cram school it's against my will, I still behave as if I'm living with her. Yeah, yo. Gosh. <laughs> Whenever I wasn't making myself busy enough, I'd feel great pressure and anxiety. I was afraid of spending time doing nothing, wasting time. Ugh. God, mom, jeez. <laughs> what kind of parent are you? God, that's not it. No wonder hee Jung is so traumatized. I feel like I'm going to be abandoned if I fall behind others. That eventually no one would need me and I'd be left all alone. I feel scared. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> Poor Hee Jung. We all, we all understand that feeling of hers. I could never cry in front of other people. But I felt that next to this small creature, I didn't have to hold myself back anymore. Just the fact that he's close to me is enough. That was just what I needed. Ugh. Let me cry into your arms. Ah, uh, today is June 8th. Alright. Hee Jung went to school, of course. To school we go. How is our pressure? Okay, our pressure is slightly increasing again. How do I lower my pressure? <laughs> How do I lower it? Do I just do nothing all day? Okay, let's just go to the bedroom again. I'm still trying to pursue Hee Jung here. I mean, Jisoo here. So, let's just go where he is. Jisoo da! Odiga. Odiga still. Should we sketch? I have some pair spare time. Should I just draw something? Yeah, should I draw something? I drew a cat with big eyes. Hey. Oh my god, my pressure is still increasing. Okay, the day's over and I'll freshly start tomorrow morning. Alright, cool. Today's June 9th. Alright. How do I decrease my pressure to each time he joins to study? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, let's just stay home and study then. Alright, thank you, game, for like telling me what to do. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, study. Let's study. You encountered the spotted rabbit. Hey! Hey there! Hi there! Try to scat, try to catch, stare. I'm gonna try to catch you. Oh, it's okay, don't be afraid, good boy. Nah, no, don't, don't, it's okay. Alright, pressure de greatly decreased. Alright, cool, cool. Awesome. That's how you decrease your pressure. That's kind of strange because I thought you would feel more pressure when you study, but oh well, whatever. Anyways, it's the Sunday, till so today is June 10th. Oh, okay. Let's finish up Sunday and then I think I can end it here. Right. Hmm. Oh, look at my, look at our heart meter. Jeez. <gasps> hey, oh. kitty. Hmm. Huh. What? 
All the animals are sitting in front of me. I have a dilemma on my hands now. What? What am I going to do with them from now on? Take care of them, of course. They're your children now. <sighs> you take care of them. T raise them like they're your own. It's been 10 days since they appeared in my room. I asked around, but no one wants to raise them. Or even help me. I thought about finding someone online. But I'm hesitant to give them out to stranger. Yeah, I know. Besides... The last 10 days with them were sort of enjoyable, right? Fun! Yeah, exactly! So keep them! They don't cause troubles like other animals, yeah. And sometimes I feel like they can understand everything I say. It's not difficult to take care of them. Exactly! So take care of them! All I have to do is feed them. They are very friendly, yeah. Still, five pets all by myself? Oh, come on, girl. You manage it for 10 days. You can do it for the rest of your life. <laughs> One or two may be okay, but five? Oh, come on. All the merrier. All five of them are cute. All five of them are so cute. I know, right? I've become attached to them. Keep them. Keep them. No matter how hard I try, I don't think I can come to a decision yet. Then I'll just keep them for a while more. Yes! Good job. And have them adopted as soon as I find the right person. Which is you. I'll just take care of them for the meantime. Yeah, I keep telling yourself that. Alright, whatever. Chua. 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 Since we're good, since we're going to live together for a bit more, maybe I should name them. Yes. Oh, name, name, name. Ah, this is hard. I know you gotta name five of them, but they already have names. But you don't know that. <gasps> she names them exactly as they are. Oh my god! If, they, if she says their name, will they become? Will they like become human? Is that it? Alright. Okay. Lots of G. <laughs> Done. Are their names too similar? Oh well, they're just animals. Yeah, whatever. Shouldn't be all too troublesome. I'll get used to it eventually. I don't know how much time we'll be have. I don't know how much time we'll have together. Yeah, let's have. Let's all have a good time. Let's all get along. All right, let's let's work because I need money. <laughs> I need money. Work, 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 work. There we go. Yay! I got monies. I got little fork acquired. I have a little. What the fuck? All right, I did say I was gonna end this episode here, you guys. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. If nothing else doesn't occur, today is June 11th. He just went to school, which is a Monday. Oh wow, yeah, today's a Monday. So yeah, I'm gonna. Oops, uh, my pressure and shit are slightly increased. Alright, yeah, you guys, so I'm gonna end this episode right here. And then, uh, again, I'm probably going to stick with trying to get Jisoo. Or maybe we should just go down the line like here. Like, I'm pretty sure this must be the right order to do things, right? Right? Okay, let's focus. So our set goal for, for this first Let's Play or Playthrough is that we need to romance Jisoo. We need to get with Jisoo. And yeah, so we're gonna continue on in the next episode. And then, yeah, I wonder what will happen, you guys. I'm so excited to start this game. And yeah, hopefully I don't mess up all too much because, like I said, you guys, I'm really horrible with meters and such. So, um, yeah. Uh, I have to really, like, be careful with my stress and my pressure level. But even then, like, I am still going in this really completely blind. So I'm not too sure what it takes to really romance Jisoo to like the fullest like I know you gotta get the heart meter up and stuff to get romancing and then I don't even know what traits I should you know max out in order to like you know have a good ending with Jisoo so yeah but anyways I'll figure all that out as I go along hopefully I don't mess up too badly but even then I have the non-spoiler guide to like help me out in case I do need it so yeah see you guys in the next episode then uh stick around so we can go on this adventure together so yeah